Well, hello everyone and welcome to this week's Discussions with Dolph. And I'm coming to you today from the city of Maastricht, which is right in the southernmost point of the Netherlands. In fact, the Netherlands has sort of a teardrop shape um, piece to it. So to the left of me, you've got Belgium, and to the right of me, you've got Belgium, east and west. And even due north, you've got Belgium. And south of us, of course, of Belgium, it's this little pocket of the Netherlands. It's a city that some of you may know, if you remember, it was exactly 25 years ago this year that the Maastricht Treaty was signed, which was really an accord between all the member nations of the EU as to how they would handle things going forward. But what is interesting for me is I used to live here about 30 years ago, and then I've had this absence where I visited a couple of times, but I've now come back. And seeing the changes in the commercial real estate makes me cringe with the thought of if only I'd kept a finger in this pie here. One of the reasons I decided not to remain in the real estate market here is that taxes are relatively high. There are high property taxes here, there are high ongoing uh, income tax levels here associated with owning real estate, and I thought it would be better and smarter to operate in regions where there are lower taxes. And in general, that's true, of course. But on the other hand, you've also got to remember that every tenant takes account of those high taxes. They sell goods that also have taxes included so that they get more revenue so that they can pay their taxes. Anyway, the significant change that I've noticed is that shops that before were just ho-hum shops are now blossoming as a tourist sort of eateries. You can see them behind me even, cafes and restaurants. In fact, there's an entire street that used to be just sort of second-rate shops such as second-hand shops and clothing stores and all that. In the entire side of one of those streets is now a restaurant alley, if you like, restaurant after restaurant, because they're catering to the tourist trade. You hear languages here from all over. You think being in the Netherlands, you'd hear a lot of Dutch, well, you do, but you hear French a lot and German and languages I can't even identify because this is a hotspot for tourists to come. And with tourism, you get all kinds of tourist activities. And one of those, of course, is that tourists and locals, for that matter, have to eat. So the restaurant and the cafe and the, the, the pub um, trade, if you like, has blossomed here. In fact, tonight, André Rieu, one of the well-known um, concert violinists here, he has a, his own orchestra and he travels the world, um, he's playing here for the next four nights in a row. And the terrace there on at Freithof, as it's called, it's a big square surrounded by 14th and 16th century churches. It is doing so extraordinarily well, and they have coffee bars there where the tables and chairs go out 10 or 15 meters before you hit the road. It is just blossomed and it's one of those things where as a commercial real estate investor you've always got to think and keep in mind what is the next wave what is it that you can convert your premises into that will attract tenants who in turn will have clients that will come to them because if your tenants even if you've signed them up on a long-term lease if they in turn don't have clients that won't fuel your cash flow so you've got to make sure that you can satisfy your clients and make sure that they've got an industry that works really well anyway seeing this place after a 30-year absence is really hitting home to me that you've got to always think what's the wave of the future what's going to happen going forward and accommodate that that's why you've often heard me say if you can find it where there's going to be a zone change where residential is being changed for instance the light commercial that means suddenly the use of those buildings has changed and i would hazard a guess that the zoning for some of these premises behind me and the street i'm talking about where they've had a whole street being occupied by restaurants the zoning change to allow that and with that zone change you've got the ability to attract a higher rental because the sort of uh, tenants that you get who put in cafes and restaurants are willing to pay a higher rental than, for instance, a second-hand clothing store. It's the mere nature of the business that they're in that will determine the cash flow that you'll get from that. Anyway, that's all we've got time for this week, but I just want to remind you, keep an eye to the future and stick with your game plan. Real estate's the way to go, and I even believe that commercial real estate is one of the best forms of real estate you can get into. That's all we have time for, folks. In the meantime, I want to wish you, as always, successful investing. Thank you very much.